Hey guys, what up? It's your boy A. Aaron coming to you with a fresh new video. In this video today, you guys, I'm going to be telling you basically the top five things you need to buy from the recruit store at Navy Boot Camp. Super excited to be back. I know it's been a minute since I posted some things, but you know what? We're going to get straight into it. I'm going to be uploading like rapid fire for like this next week or so. So got a bunch of ideas, just have a bunch of stuff going on. But enough about that. Let's just get straight into it. I know you guys have been waiting, so let's go for it. Let's kill it. All right, so let's cover some basics. Right when you get to boot camp, they're gonna be giving you like all sorts of stuff. You're gonna get like your Diddy issue, uh, your Diddy bag issue, all that stuff. Uh, you're gonna get like your go fasters, all sorts of stuff. You're gonna like basically take off all your civilian attire and give it to them and they're gonna lock it up because now you're officially their prisoner. Um, so with that being said, there are some things you can go buy and then some extra things maybe you should invest in. Um, I'm gonna try to generalize this I know from my experience, I needed things other people didn't need. People needed things I didn't need. You know, it's a case-by-case -case basis. But I'm going to go over some things of what you would really, really want to look into getting when you get to that recruit store. All right, coming at you with number five. So depending on who you are and how in touch you are with your family, I know for my division, it's pretty much like all of us, everybody was constantly getting care packages. I'm going to kind of combine this one. So you want to get... A lot of extra envelopes and you want to get a lot of extra paper maybe buy an extra recruit training notepad right uh, that'll give you some paper or you can just buy like a binder um, I, I would recommend the binder because it takes up a lot of space you know the extra little notepad you can just fit in your A and B drawer perfectly so alongside with that also I would also really look into getting some <coughs> colored highlighters for your notes so that'd be for number five um just to make your notes a little bit more easier because sometimes you have to be taking notes for your fellow recruits because they're at medical or dental or whatever they got going on or maybe they're on watch so they're missing some class and normally if you're sitting next to that person you gotta try to take notes for them or however that works out with you and your buddies or or whatever but yeah that's it for number five all right guys number four i would seriously recommend looking into getting an extra pack of brown shirts they are dual purpose. So yes, you'll have extra brown shirts to wear if you need, or you rip one of them bad boys up, you throw the remainder in the garbage, and then you use that brown shirt to shine your boots. The material helps you shine your boots a lot better than the cloths and other things that you're given. So I would recommend that. It has a dual purpose. It's very, very good, but yes. All right, guys, coming at you with number three, calling card. I recommend getting the $20 one over the 10 Depending, it just depends case by case basis. But for me, I made a lot of phone calls. Like you're given about five opportunities for phone calls. One when you initially get there, three throughout boot camp, and then one when you become a sailor. But for those three initial phone calls, I made several phone calls. Now understand, here's why I say get the $20 one. You get the $20 card, and let's say you call me because you want to talk to your boy Boats, but Boats is busy making one of these sick YouTube videos to help off future sailors, right? Boats can't get to the phone because Boats is recording with his phone. Guess what? Boats didn't answer the phone. You guys, that charges you a dollar. So now you have 19 left and you don't even get to talk to anybody. And then it also charges you like pennies or whatever per like so many minutes or whatever while you're on the phone. So just understand like that. Understand things like that. So you, you will be getting charged the duration of the call and then a dollar to make the call. But... It's not like it's not like too insane. So I remember I made I made tons of phone calls. Tons of phone calls. So yeah, I would really, really recommend getting the twenty dollar one. But that's just a me thing. You guys can get the ten. Or if you want to be like the one brave soul that was in our division that was like, I don't need phone calls, that's a distraction. That guy's a friggin' champ and an OG. Whatever. You could do that either, save some money. But yeah. Number two! Depending on when you go, I would strongly recommend and I needed it a lot, and I'm not even the kind of person that really needs it. Chapstick. Honestly, chapstick comes in clutch. Like, not even going to lie to you guys, chapstick really comes in clutch. You'll be surprised. You'll be sitting there working out or whatever, getting annihilated, 
You're gonna need some chapstick. Like your lips will be cracked and breaking out. Crap hurts sometimes. So <clears throat> I never thought I would need chapstick, but I was just like, holy crap, I can't wait to go back to the recruit store so I can get me some chapstick. That was like, literally, I went through all the aisles looking, got my chapstick, I went to the back of the line, and then I was like, all right, no, 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 and I, I went through the rest of the aisles. You know, it, it was pretty crazy. But chapstick for sure, man. I'd rather have it, not need it, than need it, not have it. Moving on to number one. The number one thing I recommend, strongly recommend, that you invest in or for your feet shoe inserts I strongly recommend you get you a pair of shoe inserts they will save your life the boots that you get initially don't really have like a whole lot in them for support of your feet but I remember having to do all these workouts and you got to think about it. You're, you're constantly, you're constantly in, in your boots the majority of the day in these socks, the like long socks. It gets hot. Then you got to go PT. Then you got to run over here. You were 80% of the day, 90% of the day you were, you were in your boots. You know, it, it's going to take, and that's for a couple months. That's going to take a toll on you. So I would recommend getting some shoe inserts as well as I'm going to even half it for you guys. Shoe inserts with some foot powder or some shoe powder or whatever. I get like some gold bond or something. Your your feet feet will kill you at some point. So anything you can do to take off that pressure from your feet or whatever, the strain of your feet, will help you out a lot. Because there's gonna be times you climb you climb in bed and you're just like, Oh my feet. <laughs> so yeah, but that's it. That's it for my top five, you guys. I would strongly recommend getting some some shoe inserts and then some uh foot powder. But that's it for the video, you guys. I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys liked the video, obviously leave a huge like. Also leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. I love talking to you guys. I talk to you guys all the time. It's insane. A lot of you have been messaging me. Oh, I'm on my way to boot camp. I'm so excited for you guys. Please let me know when you guys get out. If you guys do get a chance to see this. If not, it is what it is. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, do me a huge favor. Go check out some of the other helpful and awesome content I put out there to help prepare you and train you for Navy boot camp. And I also do some other things for entertainment here pretty soon. We'll be doing a 2000 subscriber special. So that be, that should be pretty fun. I'd assume. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you go add me on my Snapchat and Instagram the links to those are in the description below. And if you guys like the other videos you guys see, you guys haven't already, please do me a huge favor and smash that subscribe button. It would really mean the world, but that's all I got. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. One second. Okay. Make it rain. <laughs> oh. Got hundreds over there, hundreds over there, hundreds over here. <laughs> I definitely seem like a fucking kill. You guys want some bad?